Why Xiang Ling is broken? Because Mihoyo forgot to put internal cooldown on her. She is a free 4 star character along with Kea and Lisa. But Kea and Lisa have internal cooldowns. So what is this internal cooldown? This is your boy Kea. His burst can do melt on the first hit but no melt reaction on the following 3 hits. Then another melt on the next hit, 3 non melt hit, then melt again and the cycle repeats. This is what we call internal cooldowns. Whenever Cryo meets Pyro or any other elemental reactions is made, be it Geo Crystallize, Swirl, Transformative, or Amplifying reactions, not every hit will be an elemental reaction. Every character has a unique internal cooldown designed to them. Now this is your mommy Lisa. Our mama has a quicker internal cooldown than our boy Kea. Mami can trigger overload reactions just after 2 hits of her burst. Compared to Kea, he needs 3 hits before triggering another melt reaction. So let's take a look on Xiang Ling. This is Xiang Ling with no vaporize reaction. I will put the non vape damage here. Now this is Xiang Ling with vaporize reaction. We did not see any non-vape reaction here. My non-vape reaction should be at 300 damage. But as you can see here in this clip, there are no 300 damage here. Everything is above 500. That means that every hit is a vaporize. So why does Shangli have no internal cooldowns when Kea and Lisa have it? They are all free characters after all. They should have been designed the same way. Having no internal cooldowns, Xiang Ling applies pyro damage very fast. So let's review it again. Xiang Ling's pyronado hits twice per rotation in this plant. The plant's hitbox is large, so the pyronado's hit might be hitting it again even when rotating at the back of Xiang Ling. You just cannot say that Xiang Ling is only good on mobs and smaller enemies because of her AoE. Facing bosses with large hitbox, Xiang Ling's Pyronado does a double damage. With a double damage per rotation of Pyronado and add in the Goba, that's a massive Pyro damage application. With a good enabler like Child, she can almost trigger Vaporize reaction every hit with the Pyronado. And also, she does all her Pyro applications off the field and add into that the consistency, the area of effect, and the duration of this Pyronado. This is why Xiang Ling is the strongest Pyro DPS. Maybe support DPS, support, enabler, whatever it is, I call it Xiang Ling Impact. Xiang Ling's existence gave birth to the national team, Child's national team, Raiden's national team, and many other national team. There is no national team without Xiang Ling. Maybe Xiang Ling's surname is national, so we can call her Xiang Ling National or National Xiang Ling or fuck it whatever. With zero internal cooldowns and an insane super fast amount of pyro application, Xiang Ling also gave birth to the Melt Reaction Team comps. The most notorious one is the Melt Ganyu. Also with the consistent AoE, pyro resistance shred, pyro damage bonus and attack percent bonus by Gobas Chili, yes, all of that are in her kit. Xiang Ling is also one of the pillars of mono pyro team comps such as Yanfei and Klee. Xiang Ling being a pyro vision has access to the pyro resonance with Bennett. Thus a double geo DPS such as Ningguang Zhongli or even Noel becomes even stronger. And there's this Dakach, engulfing lightning, and the emblem set. All designed for her burst damage and uptime. Xiang Ling will become even stronger if you click that subscribe button. I'm doing other contents like this, comparisons, math, showcases, and showdowns. Xiang Ling is the well-known recipe for the strongest meta teams here in Genshin Impact. For example, I can one cycle the Primo JV shop with Child's national team, and even destroy the first wave of the Abyss 12-1 and leave enough firepower for the next wave cutting their health bar to half with the single rotation. Luckily, I don't overinvest in my characters. I stopped at talent level 8 
and still has shit artifacts. Many speedrun videos are already out there in YouTube with their very powerful builds. I'm not one of those. But here's my best record if you want to check it out. So please subscribe and see you on the next video. If you want more in-depth character analysis like this one, please comment down below. Perhaps we can do Bennett.